Favourite jumps from gate day time is, and they are sprinting away. Favourite just got a little bit of bump out the gates time is, she's two lengths off there. Simla is looking to respond well, Storm Kitten's on the inside, Lamonde is just off them. Mullins model, yellow blinkers to the right hand side, pink ticket. This point in time, Masked Girl giving them four or five length start, elusive lady. Red Seductress is over towards the inside. Favourite time, yes, now moves within two lengths of the leaders. Simla's probably going just about the quickest from Mullins' model. Favourite Timeus goes in, now makes her presence felt a half a length off there. Mask Girl's got her full length to make up. Storm Kitten's along the inside. Gracious Grace to the outside. Coming inside the 300, Timeus about to be popped the question. Still got a half a length to make up because this leader continues to go similar. Similar by a half a length, Timeus now pulls on the pressure. Between runners, Mask Girl looking to run on. Now the favourite, Timeus puts on lots of pressure and hits the front the last 100. And Timeus is going to set the trend for the day. Timeus by two. Similar second, then came Moss Girl. Red Seductress in photos with Storm Kitten. Starting the day, a good looking day for punters. Number 13, Timeus, the daughter of Va, opened up 18 to 10, shortened down to odds on. Didn't get the best of beginnings, was a little bit bustled between runners, but coming inside the 200, asked upon for her effort, similar was still in front, but Tamias, the daughter of Va for Bromben Hastine and William Henderson, she's just got too much firepower in the first race, at 1 rand 80 the win, 110 the plays. Similar will stay on for second, the long time leader, Moss Girl, another honest run, and then came Red Seductress and Storm Kitten. Conza gets a mention. Further back is Venetian Gold and Mullins Model. Similar was still striding in front coming to the 200. Timias now gets asked upon for her effort. And within three or four strides, she puts her head in front. Just still green in front, but then goes on for the victory. You'll notice that Stuart Randolph takes no chances. He continues to drive away and give her a couple of flicks down the neck to make sure she goes right to the winning post as it's her first attempt on the grass. Both her runs have been on the poly track. So a successful transformation from the poly to the turf. And Timias does the business in the first. Looks like a host of favourites still to oblige. Back to the studio. Nice uh, day it's turned out to be for Pat Lunn. He's just got the one runner, so it'll be 100% strike rate for the yard. And it's the daughter of VAR, number 13, Time Years. She's had two very good runs to date and uh, Pat uh, just explaining uh, the wrong tactics didn't work out for her last time out but nevertheless uh, she looked like the right horse in this field Pat. Yeah you know she's shown very good work at home you know and uh, the first run she ran she ran against Flying Fiona which is the Tommy they rate her very highly it was on a Ramsden. Yes. The last time out we tried to do the same way we rode her the first time and give her a chance and she got caught behind a bunch and the front horse Patty Cake went six, seven inches clear. Sure. And that uh, was actually the wrong tactic. So today I told Stu to jump out, let her use her action, which she had up, up, up third or hallway. And she quickened nicely. You know, she wasn't blowing at the end, yeah. So she's still green and she will improve a lot. Well done to the owners, familiar silks of Brown van Hastien and in partnership with William Henderson. Yes, I'd like to thank them as well for their support. You know, she's a nice filly. We pay quite a bit for her. And, um, and he's got quite a few horses with me at the moment, so we're doing quite well. The strike rate's quite good with him. So I uh, hope for the best, yeah. Well, it was a fair season considering the number of runners you had uh, last season, Pat. So looking forward to this season? Yeah, you know, I've got a lot of horses that haven't raced yet, so we're hoping that they, one or two of them can be quite good. And that's the, that's the best, I think. Well, you can go and enjoy it and uh, shout the box home this afternoon. I will do that. Thanks very much. Well done to Pat Lund. I'm sure you'll be off to the rugby now. Early day, we'll be hard at work here, Stu. But coming back to this horse, Pat, just explaining uh, wrong tactics last time out that d didn't suit this really. Yeah, I, I just thought we just bumped a decent sort. You know, she ran as she pleased. Um, I feel it was trying her best at the end. I always thought she wanted more ground, but uh, no, I must say a big thank you to Slun and Lloyd kept it ticking over lovely and then uh, once she got into the grass she just proved that she can run 
it turned out to be an, a lovely race for you because good fractions were set up front by Tristan on the, uh, Simla for Com and you still had to go and fetch that horse. Yeah, he was skipping on obviously with the claiming uh, and I seen his form, it's got a bit of speed. So it was ideal for me just to track him and, and get a soft lead from, from Tristan. But um, yeah, I always felt like when I switched on, she was going to always wear him down. So no, it's one good, good race day. Nice start to the race meeting. What about the balance of your rides, Stu? Yeah, I've got a chance in the next uh, third race, I should say. And yeah, I'm expect back from then on. But just want to say thanks, well done to, to Mr. Van Hastings and other connections. That horse in the third race, I'd, I'd just like to spend a bit of time on. Uh, two very good runs to date, Stu, and you, you got to know him for Paul. Yeah, absolutely. I think we're under pressure and he's also wanting more ground. Um, but, you know, it's a tough race. You, you know, he, you know he's, he's getting there with a big chance. Um, I think uh, Roy wants to get him uh, gelded first before then we stepped him up over more ground. But a nice sort, and I think he will run a good race here. Before you leave us, uh, that pen is sitting at 23. Uh, your take on the track? Yeah, it is on top, a little bit firm. Um, so just got to watch for the speed. But uh, obviously this time of year, it's, you know, there's no rain about, but track is holding up nicely. Well, continue the good work, Stu, and all the best. Yeah, you put one on the board early, which is always a plus, and I wish you all the best for the rest of the afternoon. No, thanks, Dees. Yeah, and thanks again to Lloyd and Mr. Lund for the, the, the help. Well done to winning jockey Stuart Randolph on number 13, Timeus in race number one. And the backers of the top one, they'll be all smiles and hoping the trend continues throughout the day. 13, 7, 1 and 11, that's your result, race number one. Coming up next will be the start of the exotics. It will be the first leg of the bipod race number two. Time to jot down 13, 50, 10 to 1. Coming up next, the first leg of this afternoon's exotics, it will be the first leg of the bipod.